Behold, I make all things new. This is the word of God to you, my friends. He makes a new life inside of you. Did you know? But now, what do I need to do to have this new life? But it is important to know that He makes all things new. He said this Himself. Just look. Then He who sat on the throne said, Behold, I make all things new. This, for me, is an eye-opener. It's like drops of honey in my mouth because it brings a well-being unto me. These words, in them I can feel, I could say, we could say, the power of God, the power of the Holy Spirit. Then he who sat on the throne said, which means there is only one throne in this world, in the heavens, above and, above and in, 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 in the heavens, there is only one throne, only one king, there is only one Lord, there is only one Almighty, there is only one Lord and God. And he sits on the throne, and he's the one who said, Behold, I make all things new. And he said to me, Write, for these words are true and faithful. Write, leave it as a testimony of what I'm saying. Write, for these words are true and faithful which means they're true and faithful, which means they will be fulfilled no matter what it costs, whether it rains or sunny skies, with or without coronavirus, His Word will remain intact. It will be accomplished. It will be fulfilled because the one who said this was the one who reigns from century to century, eternity to eternity, the eternal Almighty, the God, only one and true living God of Abraham, God of Isaac, God of Israel, the God of Noah, the God of Job, the God of Daniel, the God and Father of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ said, Behold, I make all things new. Write these words, for these words are true and faithful, which means this promise which is faithful and true, it's for you. It's for me, it's for everyone, every human being. Regardless of the religion you follow, what matters is that this promise is for you as well. No matter how much of a sinner you might be, this promise is for you. It's still valid for all human beings. But every human being who what? Every human being who believes. It's not for the unbelieving human being. His disciples go into the world and preach the gospel to all creatures. He who believes will be saved. He who does not believe, however, will be condemned. So the word of God is to save those who believe. Those who believe, they are baptized. Those who surrender, those who give in, those who say yes, it's like marriage. On the altar, the bride says to the groom, I accept you as my husband, etc., 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 the groom says to the bride, I accept you as my beloved wife, etc., etc., etc. So then they confirm a pact, a pact of life for all their lives. 
for their entire life. So they give their word, their own honor is given, which is the word, to live one for the other throughout their lives. God, my friends, He gives His word to all those who believe. Those who don't believe, He does not confirm, it does nothing. But those who believe in these words, so then God gives His own honor. However, obviously, the person has to submit to it. The person must also say, I accept. I am willing to commit. I surrender. I make this pact with you. This covenant with you. This marriage with you. I surrender my life the same way you surrendered your life on the altar for me. I surrender my life to you. To live it all the days of my life to serve you. So the person takes a decision when he believes he marries. He assumes a covenant. He gives in with his life, his word. And when he gives his life, so then God makes all things new in his life which is what happens when we marry. When we marry, our lives, from the moment we get married, our lives become new because we live in another context of life. We're no longer free. We're no longer single. We no longer have duty with others, but only with the person whom we marry. Likewise, it's with God. He makes all things new in your life, my friends. And even now, He gives you peace. He gives you joy. He gives you hope, faith. He gives you strength. He gives you vigor. He gives you victory. He gives you a new life. But obviously, you need to submit to Him as well. And this is to believe. Behold, I make all things new. Right, for these words are true and faithful. Which means it's as if God would put His ring over our finger. Here it is. I take it out of my finger and I put it on your finger, I give my word, my word. And this is the belief of God in you and He expects you as well to do with regards to Him. And this is marriage. This is covenant. This is marriage. And then all things happen. Praise be to God.